Vancouver's fire crews are busier than ever. Last year, the department went to more than 65,000 calls for service. Tonight, in the conclusion of our three-part series, we'll take a look behind the scenes on a ride-along with firefighters. Our Alyssa Tebow went along for the ride and uh, another eye-opener for you. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Andrew. And you can really understand why firefighters can only stay for about a year at Hall 2 before having to move locations. It's the busiest in Vancouver. Last month, they hit 1,600 calls for service. Most other halls average around 500 calls a month. And this is what a night looks like on the job. Sirens. Alarms and music, the sounds of a firefighter's shift. We're spending a night at Hall 2. Located on the downtown east side, it's the busiest in Vancouver. Engine pump. The first call a few minutes after we arrive. A fire alarm has been tripped inside an SRO. We weave through traffic and the crew does their inspection. It only takes a few minutes to determine it's safe. Just smoke in the hallway, okay. Back at the hall, the rest of the team is preparing dinner. The room isn't made for 14 people, so out comes the kids' table for adults. And there's not enough room for all the trucks. Typically a fire hall will only have two, two rigs and we have double the amount in a hall that was built for two. 2022 was busy for the city's firefighters, recording more than 65,000 incidents, a huge jump from previous years. 20% of all those calls went here to Hall 2. The work so intense, it's a rule. Firefighters can only work out of this particular hall for a year. Eight to ten months in, you start getting pretty jaded. There's just the stuff you see on a daily basis is... It's not normal, so our brains have a hard time coping with what's going on sometimes. Just as the team's eating, a medic call. Someone is experiencing an overdose inside an SRO. The team says they often see these kinds of calls on Friday nights of check week. Can I check your calls? A 30-year-old man is on methadone, a strong opioid. Fire medics are first on scene, but they need help from ambulance crews. He is quite agitated and uh, sick of us asking questions. Crews say this building is one of the nicer ones, but there are still bed bugs and cockroaches and a pizza left burning on the stove. The man is taken to St Paul's Hospital. Overdose incidents make up 22% of all medical calls to fire crews. Last year, the department had to stop responding to low-priority ones. The demand was overwhelming. I had two or three overdoses and a cardiac. Just today? Yeah. Back at the hall, there's a small fire across the road, burning in an alley. Outdoor fires like this have dramatically increased. Another challenge is tents and structures blocking access routes. In the summer, the fire chief ordered them removed because they're fire hazards to surrounding buildings. But of course, many people called them home. We've had people be more aggressive with us, which is a little, little unusual. In line with other emergency services, the department is short-staffed. The union says at least 55 additional firefighters are needed by the end of the year in a city where demand continues to climb. And the union is calling for both council and the provincial government to increase investment in the department. And one final tidbit, that fire hall has no air conditioning. So, Andrew, you can imagine just how hot it must get Whew. in summer. Mm -hmm. This is the final uh, in your three-part series, Alyssa. What's the takeaway? Yeah, there's a few, and this applies to police, paramedics and firefighters. The first is the speed. Uh, they respond within seconds of a call coming in, and it is quite something to see that in person. The second, the relentlessness of their shifts. They go from call to call to call. And then the third is that these people, they deeply care. But they are continually seeing very tragic scenes. And mm -hmm. it's always been the job, but we are talking about increased demand, increased call volumes all the time, and they are at the front lines of this. Something's got to give. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Alyssa. You've done a great job with Thank these. You.